Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Practical Programming with Dr. Sue. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with Web GPU graphics programming. In the last video, we discussed how to map an image texture onto the surface of a 3D sphere. In this video, I will explain how to use the texture framework created in the texture.ts file to create a 3D cylinder with the texture. In order to create the texture, I have added 9 images to the DIXT assets folder as we did in the last video. This image have the same size 512 by 512 pixels and the same PNG format. Here are the nine images we are going to use. Let's consider the texture coordinates for our cylinder. We start with the center point of the image and then spread to both sides of the U and V direction, which will cover the cylinder surface. In this cylindric coordinate system, this center point in texture coordinate system corresponding to uh, this point on the cylinder. That is says 0, 0, R. You can see on the z-axis. For any point P on the cylinder surface here, uh, we can describe it using these equations x, y, and z and with uh, angle theta. The theta is defined uh, on the xz plane, start with the z axis. The theta can uh, change uh, from minus pi to uh, pi. And also the z can change from minus uh, half h and to positive half h. h is the height of the cylinder. Now we want to map the texture coordinate u and v to theta and y with this relation here. You can see u defined by pi plus theta divided by 2 pi. When the theta changes from minus pi to pi, the u will change from 0 to 1. We define v to y plus half h divided by h. When v changes from minus half h to positive half h, the v will change from 0 to 1. So u and v is just the text coordinate we need. Now our task is to find out the theta. From this to the relation x and z, we can see the x over z equal to tan to the theta. So the theta equal to arc tan to x over z. In order to describe the theta, the angle correctly in four quadrant, we have to change arctangent to arctangent 2. So with the two inputs, x over r, z over r here. So now we can substitute this theta into this uh, relation. So we can get the u and v coordinates result for our cylinder. So u equal to 0.5 plus arc times 2 x and z over 2 pi. And v equal to 0.5 plus v over h. This is u v, the text coordinates for our cylinder on the, the surface. Here we will use the gate tool to clone the source code used in the last video. Here is the download link at the GitHub repository. From this link, you can download all the source code used in the last uh, video. Now open a command prompt window and run the following command git clone paste this link. This will generate the WebGPU 35 folder on your local machine. This folder contains all the source code used in the last uh, video. Now we will change this WebGPU 35 folder to the GPU 36. Rename 36 and uh, CD into it. 36. 
At this point, we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code period. This is Visual Studio Code uh, interface. OK, we can close this uh, welcome page. Now, here contains all the source code used in the last uh, video. Now, open a new terminal window and run the npm install to restore all the npm packages used in this uh, example. Uh, OK, finished. Now, all the installed packages are stored in node modules folder. First, we need to generate the texture coordinates for our cylinder from src folder. Open the vertex data.ts file. Try to find the cylinder data function here. Cylinder data function here. So we need to put uh, two more input parameters ul equal to one, vl equal to one. These two parameters set the up limit of the texture coordinates. Next, we need to add some new variables in order to calculate the UV data. Put here. The UV array here will use to hold the UV data. This U0 here, the new variable will be used to create the UV data for the unit cell. So now, after this normal data, we need to add some UV data here. Here you can see we use the formula we just discussed, 0.5 plus mass times uh, 2. So we use this the for use the R out or R in, depends on the where the, the point are located. So we use this formula to get the UV coordinates for this unit cell. For this unit cell, also include two triangles, bottom also include two triangles. The same thing as outerface and interface. So we put all these coordinates into the UV array here. So finally, this function needed to return the UV data here. So we copy this will be UV data. UV data. Here we need to also change it to UV. Okay, now we finished modification to this file. So we can save this file and close it. Next, we need to make some changes to the index.html file. From this DRST folder, open the index.html file. First, we need to change here the 35 to 36 because this is the 36 uh, video series. Another thing is here, H1 title, we need to change from sphere to cylinder. And the, all the input parameter here is the same as was used in the last uh, video. Except here, we don't need to define the default earth. Here, we use brick as default image. So that's the only change we need to make. Now, we can save this file. Next, we need to make some modifications to the main.ts file. From src folder, open main.ts file. Here we need to replace its code with new code. You can see here we first introduce create a shape with a texture from texture.ts file. And also we introduce the cylinder data which including the, the UV data. Cylinder data function from vertex data.ts file. Next, inside the create a shape. Uh, the methods. We first call cylinder data the methods to generate uh, the position, normal vector, and UV data. Then we use this data as input to call the, this create shape with the texture methods to create 
cylinder with the texture. This part of the code defines the default input parameters. You can see here the text file we use a brick PNG dot PNG as our default of, uh, image, and we also define address mode for UV uh, direction as uh, repeat. Of course, you can define uh, use other options, for example, middle repeat or climb to edge. Here we use repeat as our default address mode. We also use UL equal to 1, VL equal to 1 as their default value. We then call the create shape methods to generate our cylinder with the uh, default input parameters. The rest code here is used to regenerate our cylinder with texture using the user input uh, parameters. Now we finish the modification to the main.ts file. So we can now see this file. Up to now, we have finished all the programming. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window to bundle our TypeScript code in production mode. npm run prod. OK, the bound file is created successfully. Now we can click the go live link from status bar area to open Chrome Canary to view our cylinder. So we click this link. Here is our textured uh, cylinder with the default lighting and the texture displayed on this page. Now we can play around with different UL, uh, U-lens and V-lens here. For example, we can set the U equal to 2 and V equal to 0.5. So click it. Then get a, you can see a nicer looking textured cylinder. You can see here uh, from this drop down menu, you can select different image. You can change to one and also Grand Canyon and Josego, Marble, New York City, Wood, and Yellowstone. And the default is break. So we get a nice looking the break. Now we have completed this example. Most of the examples presented in this video series are based on my recently published book, Practical Web GPU Graphics. From this link, drsu.net.com. You can see the details about this book. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video series. From this link, you can download the source code used in this uh, video series. I also created a live demo at this link. This demo shows the live results by running the example projects presented in this uh, video series. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.